Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on naturalism with a special reference to information, knowledge and wisdom as given in the syllabus. Thank you very much for your presence. Continue to follow me so that you are able to get the comprehensive idea of education, net education or TRB education. Let us straight away enter into the topic. Naturalism is a western school of thought that emphasizes the idea that everything in the universe can be explained through natural causes and laws without the need for supernatural explanations, divine explanations. It asserts that the natural world is the only reality and human beings are part of this natural order. When it comes to information, knowledge and wisdom, naturalism provides a framework that can be broken down as follows. How does naturalism view information? In naturalism, information is seen as a raw data about the natural world gathered through human senses and scientific methods. Since the naturalism relies on empirical evidence, that is what can be observed and measured, Information is collected through observation, experimentation and rational analysis. I hope you understand this. For example, information about plants, animals, weather and physical laws is gathered through systematic study, rejecting supernatural explanations. How does naturalism view knowledge? Naturalism views knowledge as the organization and understanding of information. Knowledge is built by interpreting information using logic, scientific reasoning and evidence. In this world view, true knowledge must be based on facts about the physical world. Philosophers like John Locke, who are aligned with the naturalist ideas, argued that the mind is like a blank slate at birth and all knowledge comes from experience. In this sense, learning is an active process of discovery where knowledge grows from direct interaction with the nature and experience. How does naturalism view wisdom? In naturalism, wisdom is about applying knowledge and experience to live in harmony with nature. It emphasizes using reason and understanding to make decisions that lead to a better life both for the individual and society. Wisdom in this context involves a deep understanding of the natural order and acting in ways that respect and align with the natural order or natural laws. For example, a person living wisely according to naturalism would recognize the limits of natural resources and work toward sustainable living. That is what we study in environmental education. Special reference to education. How naturalism views education? Naturalism has influenced educational theory by advocating for an education system that is closely aligned with the nature and the real world. Naturalist educators like Rousseau believed that children should learn by interacting with their natural environment rather than through abstract teaching. In this approach, information is acquired through hands-on experience in naturalism. Information is acquired through hands-on experience. Knowledge is built by encouraging children to explore, experiment and make sense of the world themselves. Wisdom is nurtured by promoting self-reliance and decision making in alignment with the natural laws. Thus, naturalism offers a perspective that values the natural process of discovery and learning, stressing that information, knowledge and wisdom should all be rooted in the observable and natural world. Let us see once again how information, knowledge, wisdom is nurtured in uh, naturalism. Information is acquired through hands-on experience by doing, you know, learning by doing. 
Knowledge is built by encouraging children to explore, experiment and make sense of the world themselves. They have to understand the world through experiments, exploration etc. Wisdom is nurtured by promoting self-reliance and decision making in alignment with the natural laws. So these things are very important. Now let us uh, analyze some of the important questions related to this topic, naturalism. What is the central belief of naturalism? A. Everything is governed by supernatural forces. B. Everything can be explained through natural causes and laws. <coughs> C. Human beings are separate from the natural world. D. Knowledge is innate and cannot be learned. What should be the correct answer? Everything can be explained through natural causes and laws according to naturalism. Naturalism emphasizes that all phenomena can be explained by natural laws without the need for supernatural explanations. According to naturalism, what is the source of information? A. Supernatural revelations. B. Human emotions. C. Empirical observation and scientific methods. D. Intuition and gut feelings. What is the correct answer? What is the source of information? Empirical observation and scientific methods. That can be verified no, through our senses. That is empirical observation. Naturalism relies on empirical evidence which means information is gathered through observation and experimentation. What does naturalism consider as the reality? A. The supernatural world. B. The natural world. C. A world beyond human understanding. D. The mind and its ideas. What does naturalism consider as the reality? That is the natural world. That's how naturalism talks about the natural world. Naturalism holds that the natural world is the only reality and everything can be understood within this context. In naturalism, knowledge is based on what? A. Mystical experiences. B. Supernatural explanations. explanations C. Rational analysis and scientific reasoning. D. Traditional beliefs. So in naturalism, knowledge is based on <coughs> rational analysis and scientific reasoning. Knowledge in naturalism is derived from interpreting information through logical and scientific methods. Which philosopher is associated with the naturalist idea that the mind is a blank slate at birth? A. Plato B. John Locke C. Immanuel Kant D. Aristotle <coughs> <coughs> So, what is the correct answer? Which philosopher is associated with the naturalist idea? That is John Locke. John Locke, a naturalist philosopher, believed that all knowledge comes from experience, supporting the blank slate theory. What does naturalism reject in the process of acquiring knowledge? What does naturalism reject, doesn't accept in the process of acquiring knowledge? A. Empirical observation. B. Scientific experimentation. C. Supernatural explanations. D. Logical reasoning. So obviously you would have found out that is supernatural explanation. They don't believe in it. No, They reject that idea of uh, divine revelation or supernatural explanations. So naturalism rejects supernatural explanations and focuses on natural causes for understanding the world. In naturalism, wisdom involves what? A. Following religious doctrines. B. Applying knowledge to live in harmony with nature. C. Accumulating vast amounts of information. D. Submitting to divine will. <coughs> so, wisdom involves according to naturalism where applying knowledge to live in harmony with nature. So, naturalism emphasizes using knowledge to live wisely in alignment with the natural world and its laws in conformity with the natural world and its laws, in agreement with the natural world and its laws. So, naturalism emphasizes using knowledge to live wisely. That is the question, no? Wisdom involves in that. According to naturalism, education should be A. Abstract and theoretical. B. Focused on memorization. C. Aligned with the nature and the real world. D. Centered around religious teachings. According to naturalism, education should be what? 
aligned with allows in conformity with the nature and the real world in agreement with the nature and the real world that is called aligned with the nature and real world so naturalist educators advocate for education that is practical and experiential encouraging learning through interaction with the natural environment which educational method is most consistent with the naturalist principles a lectures and theoretical instruction be learning through interaction with the natural environment c rote memorization of facts d supernatural guidance so which ed educational method is most consistent with the naturalist principles that is b what is that learning through interaction with the natural environment so this educational method that is learning through interaction with the natural environment is most consistent is most agreeable with the naturalist principles naturalist educators like rousseau promote learning through hands on experience and the exploration of the natural world what does naturalism suggest about the relationship between humans and nature a humans are separate from nature b humans must dominate nature c humans are part of the natural order d nature is inferior to human intellect so what does naturalism suggest about the relationship between humans and nature naturalism holds that humans are part of the natural world and should live in harmony with it <clears throat> according to naturalism information is what a derived from divine sources b raw data gathered from nature c irrelevant to understanding the world d based on speculation according to naturalism information is what that is raw data gathered from nature that is information information in naturalism refers to the raw data about the natural world collected through observation and science how does naturalism view wisdom in practical life you are following instinct without thinking be acting in ways that respect and align with the natural laws see relying on emotions d ignoring natural limits for human progress what is the question how does naturalism view wisdom in practical life naturalism defines a wisdom as making decisions that in agreement with the understanding of natural laws and contribute to a balanced life so that is what uh, wisdom according to naturalism what role does uh, scientific reasoning play in naturalism a it is secondary to mystical experiences b it is fundamental in building knowledge c it is not considered important d it is opposed to logical thinking <clears throat> what role does scientific reasoning play in naturalism scientific reasoning is crucial in naturalism for organizing information and transforming it into knowledge so scientific reasoning is very crucial in naturalism in naturalism knowledge grows from what a yeah, meditation and contemplation uh, that is contemplation means uh, once again meditation or uh, you know uh, deep uh, uh, meditation deep thinking about god or reality etc contemplation b divine revelation c direct interaction with the nature and experience d reading ancient text in naturalism knowledge grows from what direct interaction with the nature and experience the knowledge in naturalism is developed through engaging with and learning from the natural environment which of the following statements are aligned aligns with the naturalist educational principles yeah children should learn by memorizing facts and facts from textbooks children should be sheltered from natural experiences i mean should be protected from natural experiences children should learn by exploring and experimenting with their environment learning should be guided guided solely by religious principles so which of the following statements are aligns with the naturalist uh, educational principles that is uh, children should learn by exploring and experimenting with their environment naturalist education promotes learning through hands on interaction and discovery in nature how does <coughs> naturalism view supernatural explanations how does uh, naturalism view supernatural divine revelations or supernatural explanations 
A. It considers them essential for understanding reality. B. It sees them as secondary to empirical evidence. C. It rejects them entirely. D. It combines them with natural explanations. So how does naturalism view supernatural explanations? It rejects them entirely. It doesn't accept them at all. So that is the answer, correct answer. Naturalism rejects supernatural explanations, focusing instead on natural causes and laws. What kind of wisdom does naturalism emphasize? A. Wisdom based on religious teachings. B. Practical wisdom gained through understanding and applying knowledge about the natural world. C. Speculative wisdom based on unverified assumptions. D. Wisdom derived from, derived from societal customs. So what kind of wisdom does naturalism emphasize? That is naturalism emphasizes wisdom gained through understanding and applying knowledge about the natural world. Naturalism values practical wisdom that is grounded in knowledge of natural processes and laws. What is the naturalist view of the human mind at birth? A. Fully knowledgeable. B. A blank slate that learns from experience. C. Preloaded with all knowledge. D. Shaped by supernatural forces. What is the naturalist view of the human mind at birth? Naturalists like John Locke believed that the mind starts as a block, uh, blank slate, blank slate, empty slate, and knowledge is acquired through experience. <coughs> so that is the question answer. What is the naturalist view of the human mind at birth? Naturalists like John Locke believed that the mind starts as a clean slate, empty slate, blank slate, and knowledge is acquired through experience. In a naturalist framework, what is the best way to gain knowledge? A. By studying divine texts. B. By observing and interacting with the natural world. By relying on dreams and visions. By ignoring empirical evidence. What is the best way to gain knowledge? By observing and interacting with the natural world. That is the right answer. Naturalism stresses that knowledge is best gained through observation and experience with the natural environment. What does naturalism suggest about education's role in shaping wisdom? A. It is irrelevant to wisdom. B. It helps develop wisdom through experience and understanding. C. It only provides basic information, not wisdom. D. It should focus solely on religious instruction. So what does naturalism suggest about education's role in shaping wisdom? That is, it helps develop wisdom through experience and understanding. Education in naturalism is seen as a means to help students gain wisdom by fostering an understanding of natural laws and experience. So education in naturalism is seen as a means to help students get wisdom, attain wisdom by fostering an understanding or by giving an understanding of natural laws and experience. What is the key aspect of wisdom in naturalism? A. Blindly following tradition, understanding and respecting the limits of nature, gaining control over natural forces, relying on instinct, instinct without a rational thought. What is the key aspect of wisdom in naturalism? Naturalism encourages living wisely by acknowledging the natural world's limitations and acting accordingly and acting accordingly. So naturalism encourages living wisely by acknowledging the nature world's limitations and acting accordingly. <coughs> Which of the following is not aligned with the naturalist thinking? Not agreeable to naturalist thinking, that is the idea. A. Believing in supernatural beings. B. Using scientific methods to gain knowledge. C. Living in harmony with nature. D. Learning through experience. Naturalism does not include belief in supernatural beings as it focuses entirely on the natural world. So, uh, it doesn't believe in uh, divine revelations or, you know, supernatural explanations, etc. It doesn't believe in belief, you know, in the... Uh, metaphysical elements in other words. So naturalism does not include belief in supernatural beings as it focuses entirely on the natural world. Nature is the teacher. Everything comes from 
nature according to naturalism naturalism places a high value on what ye memorization of abstract ideas be hands on experiences in nature see avoiding natural experiences de reliance on supernatural forces naturalism places a high value on what hands on experiences in nature naturalist education emphasizes the importance of experiential learning in nature which educational thinker is most associated with naturalism a jean jacques rousseau b immanuel kant c socrates d friedrich uh, nietzsche so which educational thinker is most associated with the naturalism of course we know rousseau rousseau is a key figure <coughs> in naturalist educational theory advocating for learning through direct experience with the nature recommending for learning or encouraging uh, learning through direct experience with the nature <coughs> in naturalist thought wisdom involves what <coughs> a gaining as much information as possible b accumulating wealth and power c applying knowledge to live harmoniously with natural laws <coughs> d defining the laws of nature in naturalist thought wisdom involves applying knowledge to live harmoniously with natural laws naturalism emphasizes wisdom as a practical application of knowledge to live in balance with the natural world dear friends so many things are repeated because the questions are varied you know what type of question could be asked and what answers answers will be more or less the same but what type of questions are being asked that we must know you know so don't feel bored about it because questions will be of this type only you know so of course previous year questions also we will be seeing but then according to the latest syllabus this is what is given and we are giving it at least to see it once after that we we will learn other things also no doubt about it i am going to give pdf files and even uh question banks you know question banks so what uh, going up to uh, 2000 questions and all maybe it will be different it will be varied but then according to the syllabus these questions are very important that is the point i want to uh, you know uh, uh, give you i want to impress upon upon you so please you know go through all this at least once so that you are able to understand the the um, essence of the Uh, topic the essence of the topic is very uh, essential afterwards any number of questions you can see no doubt about it so dear friends <coughs> god bless you abundantly let us meet in other video lectures kindly give your comments and if you like it please uh, give likes or uh, that is the that is what youtube expects you know you know I'm just I, i am just spending some time on this and uh, it will be a push to me if you subscribe if you give a like if you give your comments you know, all this is a value you know in the for the social proof and uh, we do something we work hard we spend hours together perhaps uh, if you you are generous enough please do that so that i am able to uh, do something more for you it is uh, you know it's a thing that is uh, boosting me up to give more and more fruitful videos for you Thank you very much God bless you abundantly let us meet in other video like